These are my boots that I just finished. Now I'm going to try them on. They should be hard. Put your fingers in the poles and pull. Ugh. There you go. cowboy boots since I was like five. Thank you for letting me take your class. This week I'm going to demonstrate crimping vamps. I've got a pair of vamps ready. I soak them in the water for about half an hour and then I let them drip dry for a while and then I put them in paper. Once they've set in the paper for a while, I'm going to put baby powder on both sides because I crimp my vamps and my liners together and this will help the wet layers slide against each other. One tip, if you're going to use baby powder in your shop, always make sure that it's talc, not cornstarch, because if you accidentally use your baby powder on something wet, cornstarch plus water equals glue. I'm going to put my vamps in the crimp break for about half an hour. You don't have to have a crimp break. You can take your wet leather and go directly to the crimp boards. But if you have a crimp break, it sure makes your life easier. All right, I've gotten it centered on there. Notice this is both the vamp and the vamp liner. Now let it set for about half an hour. I crimp on a crimp table instead of my lap. I like it because I have this little bar here that functions as a third hand. I'm going to start out by positioning the vamp and the liner on the board. I want the corner to be right there where the crimp screw is going to be. Then I'm going to grab those corners with the crimp screw, tighten it down tightly, and then I'm just going to pull it snug here. I'm not trying to get all of the slack out. When I crimp, I use number five lasting tacks. And I crimp in a very specific order, and I'm going to post a diagram of that at the end of this demonstration. Both of these pulls, the first one where I put in two nails, that pull is this direction, and the second one from the tongue is also this direction. Try to put the nails all the way in because a lot of the reason that the nails hold the leather so tightly is not just the nail sticking through the leather, but it's also the compression between the nail head and the board. These two nails need to be side by side going this way, not this way, because when we trim it, we're going to end up trimming like this and trimming off this top part. So if you put the nails here and here, it's going to be down in the leather that you need to be using. My vamp is wrong side out. I am working against the back side of the vamp. I've never had any problems with this. Every leather that I've ever used turns right side out quite successfully. So the way the leather is positioned, the liner has the right side against the board, and then the vamp has the right side against the back of the liner. This is the first place that I'm going to use the crimping pliers when I'm crimping the vamps. They're designed to brace up against the crimp table. I'm going to put one tack in on this side, and then I'll turn it over and do the other side, and that keeps me from pulling everything all to one side.
going to put in three nails and then take it out and tighten the crimp screw. Always make sure you check that wing nut that it hasn't become loose. And then I'm going to put in three more nails. One. And then this one, I'm going to pull right in the center and put a nail in on either side. Notice how if I need to smooth out any wrinkles, because I'm working from the back side of the leather, I don't have to worry about scratching the leather. Now if you do have a wrinkle like this one here, always try to work it out with the wrinkle. Not across the wrinkle, but with the wrinkle. But we're not quite ready to be working on that wrinkle yet. a nail in on either side of the crimping pliers. And then tighten that crimp screw for the final time. And this time I want it pretty snug. And there we go, a crimped vamp with very little effort. And even if I hadn't had the crimp break, I still would have done the sequence of the nails in exactly the right order. Sometimes without a crimp break, you might have to go back and replace a couple and pull a little more after you're through, but still the sequence of the nails is exactly the same. Are you frustrated with skiving? Are you tired of turning the leather around and around? Do you feel like you have 12 fingers, two hands, and an unfaithful husband? Well, this fantastic new product can fix two out of three of those problems. Try the amazing new Lazy Lisa. This revolutionary product makes tedious skiving a thing of the past. Just place your skiving surface on the patented turntable to make skiving fun again. Now you can not only be a boot maker, but a DJ boot maker. Recommended out four or five dentists. Order your Lazy Lisa now. This solid marble slab turns easily and is perfect for long days of skiving. Only $60 plus $18 shipping and handling. But wait! Order now and I'll include the 3 quarter inch skiving knife absolutely free. That's right! Get the Marble Lazy Lisa and a 3 quarter inch skiving knife for only $60 plus $18 shipping and handling. Ability to skive like Lisa is not guaranteed. Do you feel like you have 12 fingers, two hands, and an unfaithful husband? No, well, this no, fan... No, no. Wait, 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 wait. Tell me when. Are you actually trying to skive? When? Boom chicka chicka, boom chicka.